Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this full CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also, remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn how to configure and verify the IP settings on Windows, Mac, and Linux clients. I'll start off with Windows, and I'm on my Windows laptop here, and I've got Windows File Explorer open. This is what I find to be the quickest and most convenient way to open the network settings. There are other ways you can get there, such as going through Control Panel. But the way I like to do it is in Windows File Explorer, I will right click on Network and then choose Properties. And then I'll click on Change Adapter Settings. And then I'll see all of my network cards here. I've got a lot of network cards on my laptop because I've got a lot of virtual cards because I've got VMware installed. I'm plugged in with an Ethernet cable right now on this interface here. And if I wanted to configure the settings, I'll right click on that and choose properties. And then in here, you can see that I can set my IP settings for both IPv4 and IPv6. So let's click on IPv4 and then go to properties. And you see that it defaults to obtaining an IP address automatically, which means that by default, it is a DHCP client. All of the client desktop operating systems will default to being DHCP clients. If I wanted to con figure a manual fixed IP address on here, I would just tick the radio button to use the following IP address. And in there, I would enter my IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. And I would also configure my DNS server in here as well. But I want to leave this as a DHCP client. So I'm going to select that. Notice in here in the GUI, it does not actually tell me what the IP address is. So to find the IP address, what I'm going to do is open up a command prompt. So I'll go up the search bar and type in CMD to open up a command prompt. And the command is ipconfig. Now, ipconfig will show you the main information, but normally you want to do an ipconfig slash all because this will show you extra information such as the MAC address on your network cards, also what the IP address of your DHCP server is. So I'll enter that. I'm getting loads of output because I've got so many network cards in here. So I'm just going to scroll all the way back up to the top again. And in here, you can see there is the IP address. There's the subnet mask. And there is the default gateway. I can also see other information in here, such as the DNS servers, the IP address of my DHCP server, etc. Okay, so that's how you set your IP address in Windows and also how you verify it with the IP config command. Next up, let's have a look at Mac. So I've got my Mac OS open here to configure your IP address in Mac. Go up to the top left, click on the Apple icon here and then select system preferences and then click on network. And then you'll see with Mac, it's a little bit different than Windows that the GUI will actually tell you directly in here what your IP address is. Again, it's using DHCP by default, and I can see my IP settings in here. If I wanted to change this to be a manually set IP address, I just click on the drop down, and I would choose manually in there, and then that gives me the option to enter my IP information. If I want to check this at the command line, then what I do is just open up a terminal. And in Windows, it was IP config. In Mac OS and in Linux, as you'll see in a second, it's IF config for the interface. So I'll enter if config. And in there, I can see same kind of information as I saw in Windows, my IP address, subnet mask, etc. This does not actually show me the default gateway so to get that, what I do is a netstat and then dash R for routes and N for numerical to see it in IP address format and hit enter. 
and then in there i can see there is my default route and there is my default gateway okay so in mac it was if config to see the ip address and subnet mask and a netstat dash rn to see the default gateway okay last one let's have a look at linux as well so i'll go on to my linux machine here and then to to configure your ip address on desktop linux so i've got ubuntu desktop running on here which has got a gui running on it by default a graphical user interface i can click on the show applications in the bottom left here then i'll click on settings and then click on network and i can see my network interface cards here to configure it i click on the settings icon and then i can see the settings in there on the details tab so that's where i can see my ip address information to change it i click on the ipv4 tab again it defaults to dhcp and i could click on the manual radio button here and configure my ip address subnet mask default gateway etc okay so that's where you can configure it if you want to verify it at the command line then go to the applications again and then open up a terminal window and on older versions of linux so you'll still see this on a lot of distributions the command to use is if config the same as it was on mac you'll actually see that i'm running a newer version of ubuntu desktop here which is why if config is not installed by default i could install that if i wanted to just by running this command here but I'll show you what the new command is, and that is IP address show. And in there, I can see there is my IP address, and I can see it's a slash 24 subnet mask. This doesn't show me my default gateway. To see that, it is IP route show. And there I can see my default gateway is at 192.168.1.1. Okay, so the older command is if config, the newer commands IP address show and IP route show. So that was how to configure and verify your IP settings on Windows, on Mac, and on Linux. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can click on the link above my head or in the description to enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.